All right, this is a video that is designed to help you create a Google Form that you can use to have students uh, complete fill in the blank and have a word bank that goes with it. So first, you need to name it. So we rename it up here, it'll rename it down here. And please complete this pairs and by the end of the period. There we go. First question that we want to do is, we want to give is that we want to ask students what their first name. And we're gonna, this is gonna be a required question. And I'll go over here to duplicate as a text response, ask them for their last name. The next one is going to be period. I'm going to choose from a list. This is if you have five periods with fourth period prep. This is also an, a required question. So right now my form has three questions and we need to go ahead and get into some of the fun stuff that's involved. Now, <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll put in a section header and put in some words. Got it there. So this is where the word bank will be. And now the questions are going to be here. There. And please fill in the blank with the appropriate word. And these will be required questions. And you can change up the questions. There we go, this might be the easiest quiz that we've ever taken. All right, so I've got my quiz. Once again, this is my section header. And I've got part one here because I want them to be able to complete more than just five questions and I want a different word bank. Well, that different word bank can be on the second page. And we'll name this page title part two and in part two, we've got a section header. And we're going to do the same thing that we did, putting in text responses. Um, there, and There we go, and I forgot to add this as a required question up here. Notice there's no star, and now there is. So we've got that, and now once I'm done with it, we can add a, a special response. Thank you for working so hard. Check back tomorrow for scores. And we're just gonna go up here to view live form. And I'm in second period. There, and so now notice I've got the word bank here for these questions. I can continue. I get the second set of word bank. And when I'm done, I can press submit. And I'm finished. To see the results, we'd go to view responses. Notice here you've got a one. So I know that one student has, or one submission has been made. I can click on view responses and I have a time-stamped 
submission for all the responses that were made on that assessment. Hopefully this helps. Feel free to get back in touch with me if you need to. John.Stevens at cjuhsd.net or you can email me here at stevens009 at gmail.com.